And now the moment of truth. In the next episode, we check on the progress of the green woodpecker. The fox is rescued from a garden, but his prospects do not look good. And we are called out to rescue some ducklings found dangerously near a main road. And a rabbit with concussion is given an examination. Join me at Wembley for the richest game in world football as Reading and Huddersfield face off for a place in the Premier League. Don't miss Football on 5 for highlights from the Championship Playoff Final on Monday at 11.25. fun and non-stop adventures. Milkshake, brought to you by Thomas and Friends. you two. We're always careful, Ellie. Why hasn't it come back? We better find it before Gabrielle's next halo inspection. Uh-oh, Mick. Your halo has broken one of Gabrielle's staffs in half. What are we going to do? We? Why should Rafe and I help you? It was you that broke it. Angels! Angels! Uh-oh. Gabrielle wants us. We can mend the staff later. We? What is it, Gabrielle? There's a problem on Jarm. Look. OK, children, it's playtime. Yay! Yay! Can we play outside? Of course, as long as you're wearing your coats. It's cold today. I didn't bring a coat today, Faith. Then sorry, Noel. You'll have to stay indoors. It's OK, miss. You can borrow my coat. I want to play inside today. Thanks, Aaron. Ah, oh, that's nice of Aaron. So what's the problem, Gabrielle? Noel can play outside now. Yes, and he is. Look. Bindi, Virgil and Noel are playing chase and hopscotch. What a lot of running about. But now playtime is over and Noel's in for a shock. <gasps> oh, no. What is it, Noel? I didn't realise. Didn't realise what? There was something in the pocket of Aaron's coat. His favourite toy car. I must have knocked it when we were playing. Now it's broken. Oh, no. Come inside, you two. Playtime's <coughs> over. What am I going to do? Poor Noel. Imagine breaking something that belongs to someone else. Ahem. <coughs> Shh. There's angel work to be done. So who am I going to send? Let's see now. There's work to be done. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Mick, 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 Ray. Who keep you safe? Ellie, 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 Ray, 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 Mick. Who be the pig? Good luck, Mick. Open up the Celestial Highway. Hello. Oh, you made me jump. 
Sorry, I'm Mick. I'm Noel. You look sad, Noel. What's wrong? My friend Aaron let me wear his coat to come outside and play. I didn't know his toy car was in the pocket. Now it's broken. Don't worry. I'll help you mend it. Really? But it's not your fault it's broken. It's not your fault either. You didn't know it was in the coat. Friends help each other out. If I accidentally broke something, I'm sure my friends would help me mend it. <clears throat> Rafe, we should mend Gabrielle's staff so Mick doesn't get in trouble. You're right, Ellie. Let's do it. Look, Angels, Mick's trying to get Noel's friends to help with the mending. Angels? I wonder where they've gone. <laughs> I don't see why we should help. Yeah, it wasn't us who broke the toy car. It was Noel. But he was playing with you. I guess. You like Noel, don't you? Of course. And do you like Aaron? Yeah. If we don't mend this car, Aaron will be upset because his favourite toy is broken. And I'll be upset because it's all my fault. If you put it like that... Of course we'll help. Where does this bit go? You join it to this bit. I'll hold it steady. There. As good as new. Wow! I'll just pop it back in the pocket. Now I can give Aaron his coat back. Thanks, Mick. No problem. Thanks to you too, Bindi and Virgil. Now I must fly. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm back. I did really well, didn't I? Not exactly, Nick. Look. Here's your coat, Aaron. Don't forget your toy car's in the pocket. My toy car? What happened to it? N nothing. It, it, it's OK, isn't it? Yes, it's perfect. But it was broken. How do you know? I broke it myself this morning. That's why I brought it in with me, to see if any of my friends could mend it. What happened? Uh, magic. <laughs> Oops, so Noel didn't break the car. No, but at least you taught Bindi and Virgil to help their friends, Mick. Hello. Where have you been? We went outside to fetch your staff, Gabrielle. But my staff's here. I put my old staff outside because it was broken. Oh. Oh, angels. <laughs> <laughs> angels, angels, angels of joy. At. I'm looking at a great big twinkly star up there. Oh, that reminds me of a nursery rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shall we do it using sign language? Yeah. It's very easy. Let's have a practice. So you start off with your hand up in the air like this, and you do twinkle, twinkle, then little and star like that. And then what we need to do is how I wonder what you are. Let's practice that bit again. It's a bit tricky. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. How I wonder what you are and then it's up above the world so high let's go again up above the world so high well done next bit is easy it's just like like a diamond and then we do in the sky and then we go back to twinkly hands twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are. Super. Let's try it with some music. That was a brilliant practice. Here we go. Hands at the ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are.
well done, well everyone. Done. Well, well done. done. All aboard for action and adventure. Milkshake brought to you by Thomas and Friends. The silver hatch in his little white cap. Come on, Rory! One more lap! Rory in the racing car. Rory, the number one star. He's coming to the line, looking real fine. Watch out, Rory! The ride behind you. Come on, Rory! The racing car. Rory, my number one star. Today was an important day at Silver Hatch. It was the Silver Hatch Parade Day, and Marsha right. had to make sure everything was perfect. Tom Bowler, yes, done. Um, bunting, checked. Track, checked. Oh, bigger coconuts. Nearly forgot the bigger coconuts. Oh. You all right there, Marsha, love? No, I mean, oh, yes, Big Chris. I, it's, there's just so much to do to make sure we're ready for the parade. Now, Mr Carboretto wants everything to be perfect. Don't worry, Marsha, love. It'll all be fine, and the cars will be gleaming with their engines roaring. Isn't that right, Rory? You bet! Oh, thanks, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Mr Carboretta. What? <laughs> you want what? <laughs> yes, Mr Carboretta. Of course I will. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, no! What am I going to do? Why, what's up? What is it? Mr Carboretta. Now he wants a brass band to open the parade. What's a brass band? A brass band? Well, it, it's, it's a band, but they play brass instruments, like trumpets, trombones, saxophones, like this. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah well, um, you know, it, 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 it well, doesn't sound quite like that. I didn't know you could play instruments, Big Chris. Oh, I. I'm very musical, me, you know. I can play anything. Even the kitchen sink. <laughs> mm, a shame you don't have a brass band. Oh, where am I going to find one at this short notice? I'd love to help you, Marsha, love, but I'm snowed on to making sure the cars are ready. Speaking of which, where's Tintop got to? He should be here getting ready for the parade. I'll keep an eye out for him, Big Chris. Oh, I'd better warn Mr Carbretta that there may not be a band. He's not going to be happy. Marsha, maybe you can get a brass band for the parade after oh. all. Really? Where from? Right here at Silverhatch. Eh? Hey? Don't worry, leave it to me. Hey, remember, if you bend it, you mend it. Hi, Tintop. Hi, Rory. Big Chris is looking for you, and he won't be very happy to see the state you're in, especially before the big parade. Oh, I suppose I better go and face the music then. Me too. <laughs> Make the music, that is. What's that? Good at making things, aren't you? Uh, um, well, if I say so myself, yes. Brilliant! Will you help me put together a brass band? Well, uh, I suppose I am very musical, but I don't have any instruments. That's okay. We can make our own. We can? Yeah. Big Chris blew into this piece of old exhaust and made a sound. Just imagine what sounds we could make with lots of other old bits and pieces. I mean, all we have to do is, is make a few tweaks and changes. Oh, I'm sure I've got some stuff lying around that we could use. Oh, great. And Father Green might have some recycling we could use too. Oh, I'll go and check. <laughs> There you go, Rory. That's my recycling pile. You're welcome to take whatever you can use. Oh, thanks, Farmer Green. I think we can use all 
almost all of it. Could you help me load up? No problem, Rory. Uh, FB, what?